Okay. Started out as your typical uh, prep for your Rubicon Trail. We had been uh, watching the weather pretty closely. It was coming on Father's Day. It looked like it was going to be a snowy year. Um, got word that nobody had quite made it through yet, so we were we were figuring uh, snow would melt pretty quick and we'd be one of the first groups through. Uh, didn't have much of an idea that, that we would kind of got to blaze part of the trail. Lots of people uh, had worked hard to get the trail open and uh, they had pushed through. I think I think we might have closed the gap on perhaps the last mile or so that, that people hadn't gotten through, which was pretty cool. So I'm gonna not show a whole lot of the normal dry Rubicon Trail. There's tons of stuff out there, but this was sort of a unique uh, once in a lifetime snow trip for us through the uh, Rubicon Trail. It's pretty fun. And so I'll start you out with some of the stuff uh, after we left uh, Rubicon Springs. And Susan did a great job of uh, scouting the trail ahead of us, watching the fun we were having, and making sure that we were uh, still heading on. Uh, she was the one who found the tracks where we finally knew we were going to be able to make it through. Alright, to say that we had to do a lot of uh, strapping and winching would be a bit of an understatement. There was a no. ton of that fun going on. Power. Okay, this section of trail is pretty typical of what we saw uh, after we got to Observation Point, heading towards Lake Tahoe and the uh, staging grounds. In this particular video, you can see my windshield had already got cracked. I hit a, hit a tree. But that stuff happens, and uh, you know the Jeep, my Jeep on 40s was, was doing pretty good. Matt, what a trooper! Ran this thing on 33s. Um, at, at some point, when we were strapping him one time, we got the strap tangled up, and he lost a brake line, so he, he did lose his brakes. Um, eventually, later uh, that night, after the first day, uh, we uh, <laughs> going just a couple of miles after that first day, we. Got him, got him some at least three breaks back, and uh, so we had a we had a, a pretty good adventure for the two of us. Um, you can see this part of the trail where we're following other people's tracks. Like I said, a lot of people have been there before, but uh, we uh, there, there was a point where we closed that gap. Okay, you're gonna be in the video again because I'm recording. And that's kind of what happens when you uh, you don't have brakes and you got to go into a steep, big old mud hole on the roof. Of His fenders, tire this way, passenger. This is fucking awesome. Okay, so this is the trail. Obviously, we can't go through there. So we went around yeah, and we're trying to cut the that. end and then break it off with the winch and well, then get around that way. See, see if this works. So I just want to document that no one has gone through this way. George will be the first. We'll see how far we get. And the winch fest was on, and the strap fest was on. And it seemed like everywhere you went, the snow was sloping towards the trees, so it was always trying to push you into a tree every time you slid down some little snowbank. Good job, baby. And there was a pretty good section there where it looks like nobody had been before. I'm going to guess it was about a mile. So I have a lot of credit to the people who come in from both the Tahoe side and from the 
Rubicon Springside, and, and it gotten us that close. But uh, yeah, it was definitely uh, fun going through that section. Uh, it was very exciting. <laughs> Susan was scouting ahead, found tracks, and we realized people from the Tahoe side had made it that far. It's Out. Um, can you hand uh, the tree saver? I'll throw it out the window. Oh. I'm trying not to get hurt. I'm going to be slow. slow. Got it! Oh, Let's get out. Awesome, babe. Now turn, turn my way. Oh, now I'm not going to uh, try to pretend that these videos were taken in order. It looks like this was getting to the point where it probably would run into some more tracks. Like uh, certainly those trails, uh, the videos in this are not necessarily in the order they were taken. And the best I could recreate from, from what we did. Uh, but yeah, eventually we did find some tracks and we and we made our way along.
job. Up in, Kay. Yeah, here we sit at camp. Trail marker 11.5. The uh, Cadillac Hill is that way. Let's see. We're, we just came through this. We're, we're camping here tonight. So it was a day's trip to get from Cadillac, from Rubicon Springs to the turnoff here. And we got another day, probably, I'm not sure how much. To get out but in the world of being safe we're well prepared our winches did what they needed to do and this is camp tonight but this is uh as they say over at the rubicon express folks when there's no turning back well there's no turning back now we are almost through we have winched through several miles of snow drifts sliding into crevices winch it's been crazy so what a team effort this is pretty awesome we know that we'll be the first ones through the Rubicon in 2019, a year where, you know, let's face it, it's closed as long as possible, but we're gonna open it up. All right, the Daily Driver Jeep. Uh, this happens to be Rubicon Springs on the Rubicon Trail. My buddy Matt is about filming for me. It's Father's Day, he's here with his son, he's nine, Caleb, badass. There's Susan, we have the giant tent. We have what thousands of people have seen, the Rubicon Campground, but we have it all to ourselves. This Father's Day, and this is the first weekend anybody even managed to drive into this part of the trail. We have Susan into the tent. And so, you know, might splice together a few little videos of kind of what this trail was like. It was extra good. The Rubicon is always better early in the year before people stack rocks and you know, everything else goes on. This is paradise. I'm gonna drive that up bad boy up to Tahoe hopefully tomorrow, up Cadillac Hill. We might actually be the first people all the way through, which would be a really killer thing. I mean, you never can tell. Some people have been all the way as far as top of uh, Cookout Point, but I haven't heard of anybody making it all the way through. So our goal tomorrow, go up Cadillac, get all the way up to Observation, Stay the night in Tahoe. Be killer. Good. No. Power. Straighten it out, straighten it out. Driver's side, there you go. Straighten it out, straighten it out. Driver's side, there you go.
That was freaking awesome. Little bit of damage. Road on trail, Father's little, Day weekend. Little bit of damage here. Yeah, a little bit of damage here. Um, oops. What? Missing one there. But someone found it. Man, I, I made it all the way through. George's is uh, I hit something with my tire so nailed up hard. there. I thought my steering box would just snap. Yeah, that was a little. So I think I think I figured out what the. Oh, bridges. <laughs> 